Dear students, we are explaining module 6 and we are module 6 I have used for subsidiary books. So in the last module I told you there are 8 subsidiary books. So last I have already explained purchases book and purchase returns book and what are subsidiary books all the details I have given. So in this module what I am going to do is if purchases has got purchase return subsidiary book sales book is there and sales returns book is there. So these two I am going to cover in this module and I am going to give two problems. So one problem will explain sales book and one problem will explain sales returns book. So now we will come to the explanation. So the meaning of sales book. So first thing you have to remember credit sales of goods is recorded in the sales book. We know that cash sales if anything cash purchases or cash sales it will go to cash book because we are maintaining separately cash book for the transactions and we know that cash book is one of the subsidiary books. But I am going to explain cash book and journal proper two subsidiary books only after explaining the ledger. So here cash transactions any cash sales it will be recorded in the cash book whereas if it's credit purchase of goods it will be recorded in the sales book. And one more thing you have to remember if you are purchasing an asset on credit then it will not be recorded in the sales book because it's a capital item or it's an asset and it will be a different treatment. It will go to journal proper. It will not be recorded in the sales book. By goods, what all will come in the credit, per, credit sales meaning what all items the firm is regularly dealing with. If it's a cement dealer, cement will be the item. If it's a granite dealer, granite will be the item. So if it's a bakery item, what all things he is daily selling, that will be the uh, goods. So what all things he is daily dealing with, that item will come to the sales book and that too on credit sales. And this book is also known as sales day book, sales invoice book, etc. Sales day book, every day sales we are recording, credit sales we are recording in this book. So now the next slide I have given a format of sales book. Sales book has got eight columns. So the first column will be the date. Second one is description, name of the customer who is taking the item on credit. Next is outward invoice number. So the invoice number we will write for reference. Similarly the ledger folio column because when these accounts are posted to the ledger we want the reference. So that reference will be there. Quantity purchased, rate will be there, gross amount and net amount. So gross amount and net amount, sometimes they will allow some trade discount. So the gross amount will be there and if they are allowing any discount, the net amount also will be there. So now one problem we are going to do that. So that is enter the following transactions in the sales book of Messrs. VGP and Sons, Bangalore, a household goods dealer. So three transactions we are taking, 2020 October 1st, sold to Anand. One hair fridge and at rupees seventeen thousand. One LG washing machine at rupees twenty two thousand. One TV set at rupees fifteen thousand. One microwave oven at rupees ten thousand. That is one transaction. Second one is October fourth sold to Mr. Menon two TV sets at rupees thirteen thousand each. One stereo system three thousand and one vacuum cleaner at rupees two thousand five hundred. Now the third customer is October sixth. Sold to Shruti 4 TV sets at rupees 14,000 each and 2 water coolers at rupees 500 each and 1 fridge at rupees 30,000. Now we will see how we will record these transactions in the sales book. So the sales book you have to give the heading sales book of Messrs. VGP and Sons Bangalore. So the same format 8 columns we have to copy the format and we have to write the entries regarding these 3 customers who have taken goods from VGP and Sons on credit. So the first one is Mr. Anand. So he bought one BPL fridge for 17,000. There is no discount. So, so LG washing machine 22,000 and TV, one TV 15,000, one microwave oven 10,000. So there is no trade discount. So the net amount will be 64,000. Next is Mr. Menon bought TV, two TV sets 13,000 each. So the gross amount will be 26,000. One stereo system, 3,000. So the one only one meaning, so the gross amount will be 3,000. And vacuum cleaner, 2,500. So total will be 31,500. No trade discount allowed in this case. Next is Miss Shruti. T 
TV sets, four TV sets at the rate of 14,000. So total will be 56,000. Water cooler, two water coolers at the rate of 500. So the value will be 1,000. Now fridge for 30,000. So that will come as 30,000. So there is no discount. So the net amount will also be the same as gross amount. So the total is 1,82,500. Now we have not learned ledger, but just I will show you how it will post. So this is the book of VGP and Sons. Just like when I explain purchases book, I have told you that if you are posting this individual customer's accounts and that balance will be equal to the total of this VGP and Sons account. So that is what we are going to do then. When we will do ledger posting, it will be more clear that we are going to do it shortly. So here, Anand's account. Anand's account, he has purchased the goods. So the posting is Anand's account. When we are posting that, he purchased the goods to sales account 64,000. His transaction we will enter as to sales account 64,000. Similarly, Manon's account to sales account 31,500. And the third one is Shruti's account to sales account 87,000. So when we will take this total and we will see VGP and Sun sales account, if you'll see that by sundries, by sundries meaning taking the total of these three customers. So it will be 1,82,500. This is how we will check. Once we will explain the ledger, you will remember, you will learn this posting also. So just for time being, I'm explaining that when I'm doing ledger, I'm going to do more problems and I'm going to show it on the board also how we can post that. Now we will come to the sales returns book. If sales is there, some customers will be returning the item. They may be defective. They may not be happy with that. So sales returns will be there. So this book is known as returns inward book. See purchase returns, we have seen that returns outward book. We are returning back to the supplier. Whereas sales return meaning it is coming back to the firm. It's inward coming to the firm. That is why we are calling it as returns inward book. Now this book records goods once sold as sales but returned back to the firm. Now you have to remember the third point. If the customer actually returns the goods, the firm accepts it, then it is known as sales returns. So there are two options for the firm. Either they will accept the item as returns or otherwise they will give some allowance for that. That is known as sales allowance. So the point is if the goods are not returned, but an allowance is given, they will allow some discount in the rate. So then trans that transaction is known as sales allowance. So you have to remember that sales returns also will be recorded. Sales allowance also will be recorded in the sales returns book. So in both the cases, there will be reduction in sales value and it is recorded in the sales returns book. So please remember sales returns will be there and sales allowance will be there recorded in the sales returns book. So sales returns is the firm is accepting the item. Sales allowance meaning firm is not accepting the item. They are, they are agreeing with the customer for a reduction in price. That is the sales allowance. And both will be recorded in the sales returns book. Now, what is credit note? Credit note is also important. So if a business firm accepts sales returns or sales allowance, then a credit note or credit memoranda is sent to the customers. See, when we learn purchases book and purchase returns book, we have seen that we are preparing a debit note. We are returning back to the supplier. Here it is coming back to the firm. So we will prepare a credit note. So this document is called credit note because customer's account is credited with the sales returns account whereby his debit balance will reduce. So now you will not understand. I'm going to explain with a journal entry also. See that how, when you, what a journal entry we are making when you are doing a sales and when what journal entry we are making when we are returning the item. I'm going to explain in the next slide. So this, what I'm going to explain, journal entry for cash sales. So cash account debtor to sales, that is the journal entry. Cash account debtor to sales account. But if you are returning, the customer is returning the item. So now sales account is credited. Now we have to give the debit, debit for the reversing the entry because customer is returning the item. So now the entry will be when sales returns is made, sales returns account debtor to cash account. So it will nullify the transaction. When sales is made, we have credited sales. When sales returns is made, we are debiting that. So that value will get automatic debit and credit will get cancelled. That is the how we will adjust that. And one more thing you have to remember. When sales returns is made, we are preparing four copies. Four copies of the credit note we will prepare because different accounts, 
for the big firms different accounts this has to be adjusted so one copy will be go to the accounts department one copy will go to the sales and marketing one will go to the production and one will go to the customer so four copies are prepared when you learn costing in graduation at the level of bcom and all you will learn this the importance of preparing multiple copies because different accounts has to be adjusted so this will get automatically adjusted so the firm will be able to make necessary journal entries now credit note specimen of a credit note is given one furniture dealer he is getting imperial hotel bangalore has returned some furniture purchased from them so they are giving the sales returns five wooden tables at rupees 1050 so the total value is 5250 they are giving the date of the sales note also when you are making a sales you will get a receipt or a voucher so that also they are quoting when they are returning the item so this is a format of the credit note is also given now second problem we are doing for the sales returns so from the following particulars prepare the sales returns book of mrs all saints store bangalore and prepare the necessary ledger accounts So I told you ledger account we have not learned. Just I am showing one posting. So when you do ledger, it will be more easy for you. So twenty twenty October first returned by Mrs R and Company twenty bags of coffee at rupees three hundred per bag, and ten chests of tea at rupees four hundred per chest, and October fifth returned by Mrs Ashok Brothers fifteen tins of ghee at rupees five hundred per tin, and trade discount they are giving ten percent. Third one is October tenth. Allowance granted to Messrs. S and Company for breakage of goods two hundred. So the first one we have to prepare the sales returns book. So sales return book also you have to remember that there are eight columns. One is date, description. Description meaning name of the supplier. And credit note will be there. Ledger folio for reference with the ledger account. And quantity will be there. Rate is there. Gross amount is there. And net amount is there. So date is twenty twenty October first. first one mrs r and company tea and coffee returned the tea coffee is 20 into 3 300 it's 6000 tea is 10 into 400 it's 4000 so net amount is 10000 now second customer is mrs ashok and brothers ghee 15 into 500 7500 but he is getting a trade discount of 10% so 750 rupees we have to reduce from this and 6750 will be the net amount so that is why we trade discount is there meaning gross amount and net amount will be different now third one is october 10th mrs sn company sales allowance is getting breakage was there so 200 rupees the gross amount we have to reduce the value so that also we are adjusting so the total amount will be 16950 now if you post this accounts of individual customers individual suppliers and then we can check with the total of this all saints department store that will be correct so that is what i am going to tell you mrs r and company account by sales returns see when you are writing sales it was to sales account so to sales account here it is by sales returns 10000 next one is ashok and brothers account by sales return 6750 next one is mrs s and company account 200 then when we will when we will take the sales return second sundry second all sin second when we will take it's a sundry second 16950 so this is what i am going to this is what i explained in this module and this sales book and sales returns book that's very important and you have to remember that we are doing more we are giving more i'm giving more problems in the description box so it's your duty to practice with the help of extra problems this explanation is just to understand the concepts and if you have any doubts you have to ask me so you can send me message or any feedback about that so that i will be explaining and that is how we are going to learn that so this is more important and i am going to explain in the next module bills receivable book and bills payable book that is also important those two subsidiary books i am going to explain in the next module and i told you cash book and journal proper i am going to explain after explaining the ledger accounts because ledger accounts the balancing how you prepare ledger and all it's very important we have to learn that so that is what we are going to do and happy learning and please subscribe to my channel and please remember that give your valuable suggestions and feedback and promote and subscribe to my channel happy learning with dr alice mani thank you